Hi everyone, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome on into the kingdom. I have not done a pre-recorded playthrough in quite some time, so bear with me here, but I am doing a pre-recorded let's play of House Party because this game is apparently insane and um, I'm gonna need my editor's help hiding some things that could potentially get my channel out of here. Okay, so uh, with that being said, I will show you guys why this has to be edited. Let's just read the, the little message that they have when you start the game up. So this is the warning message that we start the game off with. I'm going to read all this to you guys. I'm a quick reader, so it's funny. Just bear with me here. So, this game contains a lot of bad stuff. There's foul language, nudity, sex, mild violence, alcohol and drug use, Oxford commas, and overall lots of shady stuff, and people being total dicks to each other. Under no circumstances should you attempt to do any of the things that happen in this game in real life. If you are under the age of 18, you should not play this game. Instead, you should probably go play something with gratuitous violence, gore, murder, genocide, war, decapitation, and dismemberment because all that stuff is allowed on Twitch and this game isn't. If there is one thing we can learn from Twitch, it's that sex and sexual themes are deplorable and nipples, vaginas, and penises are vile and reprehensible. You should be ashamed for even having them on your body and they should be censored from all media, unlike all those other things mentioned above. We even tried adding a hot tub to the game, as this seems to be a valid workaround for many Twitch streamers, but still no luck. The developers of this game, the publishers, whoever it is, they are salty. I think this game is actually banned on Twitch. Um, it used to be able to be shown on Twitch and then it got banned, and so they are not having it. They are talking their shit and throwing their shade. A house party was created by a diverse team of super awesome men and women of various beliefs and, and cultures. This game is meant to be silly and fun. If you're easily offended or have a hard time separating fantasy from reality, this game is probably not for you. All characters that are portrayed in this game are works of fiction, except the ones who aren't, and any likeness to any real person is purely coincidental, unless it's intentional. Also, let's face it, we all know a Patrick in real life. All characters portrayed in this game are also over the age of 18. I mean, like, their fictional age is over 18. Quack. This is confusing. You know what I meant. Are you still here? The only reason I'm adding this sentence is so the text looks more filled out, and I had a bit more empty space on the screen than I originally anticipated. But now, look how cool and official this warning screen looks. Just go play the game already. You've been warned. That is quite the intro, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but that is why I am not streaming this game. It was banned on Twitch. Twitch is a little bit more lenient than, than YouTube, then, you know. I think this game is set in like the, the 90s. So we're gonna make our character. I think we have to like customize a character. So we're gonna choose from one of these pre-made chicks. I like her vibe. And I'm just gonna make a character. I'm just make whatever I feel like making. Princess. I'm just naming it my name. All right, now we can do modify character. Can we like zoom in? Oh my gosh, she is. Three weeks later. All right, new game. Choose my character. Um, I, uh, I don't want to be this bitch though. How do I select my girl? I don't know how to start this as my my girl. Hold on. First time playing the original story. Okay, but I want to be a bad bitch. I don't want to be this one. Hold on. Let me see something. Did I just waste my time? Alrighty, guys. I realized that I had actually edited an existing character who's already in the game. So that would not have been the character that I was playing as. So I'm kind of a dumbass, but... I went back and found the character that I'm actually playing as and I am in the process of editing her. She looks a bit different than the other girl. She doesn't look as like gothic, um, which I don't know how I feel about that because I was kind of going for like a gothic look, but like, oh, period. I think I'm gonna stick with this for now though. But still, she has the same backstory. She'll still, she'll still steal your man. If you get on her bad side. That's how we're gonna play her. Period. 
She kind of looks like a vintage, like classic beauty almost. Period. All right, so we are about to just jump into the game because that was not supposed to take as long as it did. All right, new game. Now we see our girl here. She's doing her little dancey dance. Hell yeah. All righty, let's go ahead and confirm. Brittany, need help. I'm at a party and need that top I left at your place. Oh, and come hang out too. It'll be fun. Brittany's location. Okay, so Brittany's the one that is inviting us out. Catholics, hello? This is about to be interessante. So my ex-wife, she comes walking in and she yells at me like she is. So is this not set in the 90s or is it? Because it seems like we're in an Uber. All right. I mean, it could be a regular taxi though, I don't know. Oh, and don't forget to rate me five stars. Well, I guess this wouldn't be in the 90s because look at her phone. Duh. Did she fall? Oh my gosh, bitch. Now if there's a killer in here, you are going to be fucking screwed. Because you just did what all dumb horror movie characters do. Okay, so we are here at this house. There's a party at Madison's place tonight and you've been invited by your friend Brittany. She's been having wardrobe malfunctions all night and asked you to bring her a spare top. Being new in town, this seems like a good opportunity to mingle with some new people. Stick around and see what kind of fun there is to be had or perhaps what kind of trouble and debauchery you can get into. Get into. The choice is yours, but first go check in with Brittany. Good luck. Oh my fucking goodness. Shirt delivery. Okay, so I need to go find Brittany. Oh my gosh. Dead before their fingers touch the bottle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I keep getting this really weird feeling tonight, like I've been here before. It's kind of hard to explain. Almost like I've seen oh these exact oh scenarios gosh. play out with slightly I feel like the newbie in, in town. I guess it's because I am. Oh my gosh, there is a hot tub. Legends tell of an awesome okay, this, that's not Brittany, is it? Oh no, that's Stephanie. Oh my gosh, okay. Is she upstairs? Girl, if you were upstairs, what the hell are you doing? Can I go into these doors? Oh my gosh. You've interacted with an item. You're really going places. Using this radial, you can inspect an item for more info and sometimes clues. You can also take the item into your inventory. That's the I key by default. Use it with an item from your inventory and in some cases do special super secret stuff. Uh, okay. Many items can also be grabbed right mouse by default. Uh, you can then drop these items or throw them, pay attention to character dialogue, opportunity window info, inspect text, and more to get the most out of the items you find, or hoard them into a corner, whatever, later. Doors are also items. Whoa. In case it isn't obvious, these can block a character's line of sight, and with the right item in your possession, even block them from reaching you entirely. That can be a good or bad thing. You'll have to decide that. Uh, NPCs can also lock doors from the inside and will sometimes prevent you from unlocking them. In such cases, you have to take other actions to open the door again. Oh, wow. Okay. What the hell? Okay, so this is a closet. <laughs> nothing in here. Nothing to see. Alright, let's close this door. These controls are really strange, by the way. Her Let me talk to this girl. She seems she seems friendly. Another random stranger Let's see. For a ride home again. Stephanie is a spaz, but she's kind of cute. Look at her go. Okay, let me talk hey, to her. Hey, I'm Stephanie. Like, what's up? Hey, listen, someone's talking. This is a dialogue. You'll be seeing these often. On the left, you can see your social meters. These represent a character's feelings of friendship and romance toward you. These are important as they will often decide. By the way, guys, I have a bird. So you guys might hear him, like, talking in the background. So just ignore that. Uh, these are important as they will often decide how helpful another character will be or how hostile and how romantically interested they are towards you. Lastly, you can also see how drunk they are. That'll come in handy as we all know that no sober, sober person can stand you. That was supposed to be motivating. Was it motivating? Okay. At the bottom, in the center of the screen, you'll see one or more responses. Choose one of these to further the conversation, in a conversation, or just listen in on what's going on. Many of these will be caught 
content or context sensitive. So if you don't see something helpful, keep trying new things and come back to the character later on. The last thing, once I'm out of your face, you can hold the right mouse button to move the camera while in a dialogue screen, but you can't walk, run, crouch, or take most other actions. Be sure to look around for interested parties before choosing certain responses with certain characters. In short, don't say stupid shit at the wrong time because people can like hear you. You got this, right? Sure you do. Like, what's up? I'm um, just gonna say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> OMG, I like love this song. Okay, um, do you know where Brittany is? Brittany? I haven't seen her, but if you do, tell her to get over here and dance with me. Or anybody for that matter. Okay, so the dialogue is at the top of the screen. Um, should I move myself? Maybe I should move myself down here so you guys can, you know, see everything they're saying. Uh, she hasn't seen her. Okay, I'll tell her. Okay, um... Oh, this is the girl that looked all upset. Oh, let me talk to her. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Madison's sister. Nice to meet you. Um... Damn, I wish I was cross-eyed so I could see you twice. <laughs> so are you the co-host of this party? Well, I doubt Madison would ever call me that. But I do live here too, so Girl, call your it what tits you want. are great. Pause. Uh, co-host is. sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. Hey, well, where's Brittany? Yeah, about Brittany. She's kind of holed herself up in the study upstairs. She showed up wearing a top that's gotta be at least three sizes too small for her, and now she's having second thoughts about her outfit choice for tonight. I'd lend her something of mine, but I don't think I have anything that won't come back stretched with her massive, uh, <laughs> you know, personality. Not her having <laughs> big tits. Okay, good thing I brought a shirt for her. Thanks, Ashley. Don't forget supplements. There's plenty you can- Girl, can you, can you move? <gasps> Is this her? Girl, you look kind of like, close this. Are you Gucci? Oh, her tits are huge. No wonder. Brittany's all alone in this room and she looks sad. I wonder if I can cheer her up. Uh, let's give her the shirt. I should at least say hello to my friend first. For all I know, there might be a reason now for me to not hand this over. Well, it took you long enough to get up here, darling. I thought I saw you pulled up a while ago. Oh, anyway, she's a thanks for helping me Kill. out. Hurry up and hand over that shirt. People keep coming in here and it's making me even more self-conscious. I was hoping you'd reward me with a kiss. What the fuck? Um, you know, I, uh, I'll just say no bother at all. I'm happy to oh, help. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. I'm real glad you showed up. Not just because of the shirt, but now we get to hang out tonight. I'm excited. Whenever you're ready, you can hand that shirt over so that I can get changed. Uh, why do you need this anyways? Your tits look banging. Girl, I always forget what a smart mouth you have. While I'm flattered that you appreciate the girls, I'd prefer if everyone else wasn't oogling them all night. Then why the fuck did you wear this? Like, you're not a little kid. Whatever. I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> Hair bitch. Well, golly, talk about taking your sweet time. But at least you finally gave me the darn thing. I'm just gonna head over to the bathroom across the hall and get changed real quick. Okay, so why are you like being such a bitch? Hey, darling, I just oh, wanted shit. to say thanks for helping me out tonight. I finally feel like I can relax a bit without everyone's eyes on me. I mean, your tits are still just as big as they were before, bitch, but happy to help. Achievement unlocked, a friend in need. Help your gal pal Brittany out, of, out by fulfilling her request for a spare shirt. Okay. Oh, this is Madison's. Wow, I never leave my phone out like this. I can think of a few people who'd snoop through my shit or delete my violentconfrontations.net authenticator jerks. Okay, so this is Madison's phone. What's in here? Can this be opened? Okay, it can't. Oh my fucking God, bitch. Like, what do you want? It looks like the only line of defense holding Ashley's massive melons inside her top. I, I'm so tempted, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's talk to her. Hey, yo, back up. Whew. Almost had to go Shaolin Temple style on the motherfucker. You should never approach a stranger from behind like that. Sensei Frank's lesson number one. Huh. Anyway, I'm Leah. 
Oh, I was about to say, bitch. Whoa, all right, noted. Wait, I'm sorry, repeat the Frank part Sensei again? Frank, you know the big ball guy who sits downstairs holding down the fort? Guy who whistles show tunes when nobody's around? Nope, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting this Sensei oh, Frank. Oh, all right then. Well, speaking of, I gotta hit up Frank real quick. He's got me on patrol, and I gotta go report to him on five minute increments. Thing is, I left my phone at the gym, so I've been counting in my head. It's been exactly five minutes, or like, a lot longer than that. Okay. I don't know how I feel about you, bitch. You seem cool though, but I don't know. What the hell's that happening That feels over? surreal. Moving away from all of my friends and favorite hangout spots and having to start all over. I'm trying to impress this sorority. Can we change so this? I'm sick of this shit. Friends, but some of their initiation tasks seem Take is crazy and borderline unachievable. Is there like a remote or something? I can't Wait, what is this? Time I party this hard. Of course, nobody without training is gonna win a fight against Sensei Frank. Girl, I could probably train somebody to beat him though if I was probably okay, motivated. Um... I can't see that happening though. Sensei Frank and I are tight. Oh, I'm not shy at all. One time, I flashed a car full of priests. <laughs> that was fun. You should have seen the look on their she faces. She seems like she's a mess. I saw a cucumber in the fridge earlier. Does anybody know whose cucumber that is? Just asking. What? I like cucumbers. Yeah, Madison and Dashley have a long... All the running around tonight has paid off, slightly increasing your combat speed. We have combat speed so we can bite bitches and stuff? Oh, uh, well, let's talk to this girl. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is Madison. This is her party. I probably shouldn't be a dick. Oh, yeah, let's talk to her. Um, do I know you? Um, I'm Brittany's friend. She invited me over to bring her a shirt. Oh, I didn't realize it was an open invite. Ugh, sorry. That was rude. I'm Madison. I live here. This is my party. There's a lot of things going on right now. I'm trying to make sure this night goes okay and well. I'm kind of tempted to keep this bitch of people song. isn't exactly meshing the way I'd hoped. That's not your problem, though. I probably shouldn't unload it on you. Oh, uh, well, thanks for making things weird right off the bat. No, I'm gonna say that. I guess you're not wrong, but uh, thanks for not accepting my apology, I guess. Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of. Maybe we'll do a do-over later. See ya. Actually, I'm gonna give you your phone, bitch. Oh, she doesn't want it? Okay. Well, if I break into that shit, I don't want to hear no complaining. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just inter introduce ourselves. Shit, this drug is pretty much normal for Patrick. There's nothing wrong with him. Looks like well, somebody left a tablet here. Speaker, He's just a lucky bastard who struck gold by Word is they just took the, the 2001 version time. and added more realistic sex. That business aunt, model has never worked for anyone. All the time. Okay. And Cece treats him like a fucking puppy because she doesn't know how Media nasty he really is. It's not that you guys have to be completely sober. It's that I don't want you getting too wasted to try my new product. Oh, this is look. Frank. But don't tell Derek. Frank is an asshole and he has a short fuse. I should probably try not to piss him off. How's it going, lady, dude? Wait, you're not drunk, are you? Uh, I'm plaster, dude. I'm gonna go drink some orange juice. Good. I'm completely sober. I'm straight edge. I can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. I feel it's like my civic duty to beat the ever loving shit out of anybody I see with a drink. My contribution helps make this world better. Right, sure it does. I'm gonna go uh, over there. Okay, note to self, I may become a statistic if I touch anything with an ABV higher than water tonight. What a great party. So we're not allowed to drink? Oh, this motherfucker definitely drinking. This is Patrick. Patrick don't give two fucks what Frank has to say. Everybody pretty much hates Patrick. I don't even know how he got invited. Everybody hates him? Why? I'm so drunk, bruh. Uh, what can I do to help? I've got a splitting headache, bruh. I could really use some aspirin. You don't happen to know where I could find some, do you? Brazzers? Oh my gosh. I'll keep an eye out. Please don't go to Chubby's when okay, I'm so he needs no, some... Let's see if there's anything upstairs. See anything? Oh, can I look in here? Oh, a sleeping mask. 
I'm just upstairs stealing everything. <laughs> They're gonna be looking for shit. They're gonna be like, where's my sleeping mask at? Oh yeah. Um, in my pockets. It looks like one of Madison's school books. It seems like there's something depressed into the book cover. Almost like somebody wrote something on top of it. I can't quite make out what it says though. Um, okay, let's just leave it be then. It's a digital camera. Looks like it saves photos to an SD card, but there's no SD in the camera. Can I open this? Deep psychology. Let's look in here. I feel like such a fucking weirdo. Okay. Laxatives? <sighs> These got nothing on Captain Ralph's colon clear. These got nothing on Captain Ralph's colon clear. All aboard for Brown Town. I'm taking that. I can put that in somebody's drink. There's a safe. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much to unpack with this game, guys. Let me, um. Can I close this? Six hours now. That can't be good. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, my gosh. Hey, again. How's it going? Uh, I can see the resemblance between you and Madison and your sister. You're, you're Madison's sister? I never would have guessed. You're way hotter than she is. What's the deal with you and Madison, anyway? Uh, tell me about the guests of the evening. That's a nice art room upstairs. That lock on your closet, hiding a couple skeletons. I saw Frank checking out your ass. Oh, wait, that was me. Damn, I wish I... <laughs> uh, tell me about the guests. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie. Most of these folks are Madison's friends. But they've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison just hates. But yeah, like everyone's pretty cool, except for Frank. Uh, tell me more. Well, like, I don't know who you've met and who you haven't. There's Stephanie, Catherine, Rachel, Amy. These are all people that Madison knows through school. Patrick's our cousin, which is pretty much the only reason he's here. Oh, that's their and cousin. And Frank, who's got no reason to be here. Derek is here because he's, well, Derek. And I think he and Madison have a thing, even though they'll deny it. And Brittany's here too. She's your friend, right? Um, she's not really my friend. I'm just using her to find new friends. Um, ooh, ooh, this could be like a little bit of a plot twist here. I could say, yeah, we're really close, or I could say she's not really my friend. <laughs> um. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I should do. I did say this girl was kind of an asshole though. Well, she was like rushing me and stuff and I my, my character doesn't like that. So she's not really my friend. Uh, that's kind of shitty, but cool, I guess. I actually gotta run, see what uh, Rachel's up to. Oh fuck, she doesn't like me anymore. Hey, sorry, kind of busy right now. Maybe we can talk later. Oh my gosh, she thinks I'm a, she thinks I'm a fake bitch. I'm being a little too honest too soon. I'm being a little too honest too soon. I need to lie more to get people to like me. Let's talk to this chick. I see everybody talking to her. Her name's Amy. Let's see. Amy's pretty new to this area. I don't think she knows many people here at the party. Oh, hey. I'm Amy. Uh, hey, Amy. It's nice to Why, meet thank you. thank you. The pleasure's all mine. Um, you look pretty pensive. What's on your mind? Just chilling, huh? Up for a change of scenery? Uh, let's do this. Oh, yeah, I guess I have been kind of spacing out. Well, it's just that I'm new in town and I'm trying to join a sorority. They got me doing a scavenger hunt as an initiation. It's due tomorrow and I don't have a lot of the items still. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the party and seeing if I can finish it up. A lot of the items on the list are kind of, well, embarrassing to say the least. And I don't know too many people here that well. Oh, uh, fuck that shit. I hate scavenger hunts. Good luck. I can help you out. I'm awesome at finding things. Oh, wow. Okay then. Maybe I'll stick around for a bit and see what we can get accomplished. Thank you. Hmm. So that's Amy. Catherine, let's talk to her. Let's see. They say Catherine's always got that phone in her hand. They also say she's smart as shit. They also say she can be a cold bitch. Did you need something? Um, I could use a drink. Want me to grab you one? I feel like we use the word need outside of its intended purpose. 
I like your glasses. They make you look smart. What a stupid thing to say. I don't need to look smart. I am smart. I can't really say the same for you with your choice of small talk, though. I can't tell if you're trying to make friends or hit on me. But either way, consider it a failure. I don't want to do either, bitch. Damn, Patrick. Okay. How's it going, brah? Any luck finding painkillers? What the fuck is crazy? Um, you should watch out for Frank Schmack. <laughs> he doesn't scare me. Ew. Okay, bye. We're a little close. Stop. Hey better. again. Are you lost? Um. So, do you want to love me or Raymond like everybody else? So is that like your secret art lair upstairs? You seem to be free. Care to show me around the place or just head elsewhere? Hey, I saw Patrick sticking some of your shit down his pants. I think he's trying to clep some stuff. I met your sister, Ashley. She's up to something, I know it. Typical little sister, right? I'm kind of nervous though, because this is my party and if she pulls something here, it would be really embarrassing for me. Can you like fucking back up, Patrick? You're doing the most right now. I feel like I've met mostly everybody. This is Stephanie, right? The one in here dancing like she's crazy. Madison, Catherine, Amy, Brittany's hillbilly ass, Patrick. We haven't met this dude. Derek, let's see. That's Derek. According to Brittany, he's a pretty cool guy. Okay, well, don't leave. Oh, hey, you must be Brittany's friend, right? She told me she was calling in some backup due to a wardrobe situation. Personally, I think she looks great, but I guess she was having second thoughts about that top. You're a good friend for coming to her rescue. Uh, she's not the only one looking great tonight. Are those... Okay. Wow. Of course, that's what friends are nice. for. I think everybody could use more friends like you. Speaking of friends, this group here is... Well, they're a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Just give them a chance, and I bet you'll find everyone has their own special something. Except Frank. Nah, I'm just playing. Mostly. There's nothing I enjoy more. Don't than interrupt that. me when I'm speaking or ask me to repeat myself. I hate that. Other than that, I'm a teddy bear. Yeah, I hid the whipped cream as best I could. And by best I could, I mean I just pushed it to the back of the fridge. If stuff's really about Have we talked to this girl? Rachel? Let's see. Rachel is pretty cool. I heard she's friends with some really prestigious people like Vicky Vixen. Oh, is Vicky the one that I had edited? I don't believe we're friends. I'm Rachel. Um. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so we've met everybody. Um. Hey, do you think I could get your phone number? Hey, Rachel, you free? How do you know Madison? Are you enjoying yourself? I was having an okay time until fucking Frank stole my thermos. He said it looked like something I could hide booze in it and that he was confiscating it. Uh, Frank's a dick. It's just something we all just have to accept. Let me talk to him. I can figure this misunderstanding out. Oh, that would be amazing. I would be very appreciative. Hunt for... How much you think? That's thermos. About 220, 230. What about... How's it going, lady, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Um... I want to hear about you and Leah. What do you think about Catherine? Look, dude. There's a chance there's alcohol in that there thermos. I need to take that very seriously. I can't check it myself because just the smell of alcohol makes me sick. I could check Not it for nothing, you. dude, but I don't know you well enough. Maybe if you could prove to me that you could be trusted. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I like Frank, though. He doesn't seem like that much of a dick. Like, he shouldn't be taking people's stuff, but... You've grabbed an item. Uh, note that while no item will morally object to being grabbed like this, not all items can be grabbed. You can click the right mouse button. Again, to drop it or press and hold the right mouse button to throw it. Be sure not to throw items over the fence. Also remember that NPCs can see what items you're holding, and some NPCs might not take kindly to, to your possession of certain items. In most cases, holding an item will be treated the same as having it in your inventory, but there are exceptions. Finally, some NPCs may even react to being hit by thrown items. 
What's your nickname? I did not mean to fucking grab a computer. Me, Hello? Uh, Frank the Fista. Oh my god. Ooh, also Switchblade. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe if I aim and... Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm not trying to fight. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my fucking goodness. I'm not trying to fight anybody. Stop it. The computer off. Frank is gonna think I'm I'm fucking drunk or something. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay guys, we have met everybody, so I'm stressed out. I have social anxiety. I'm not even fucking here and I'm stressed out. But thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to jump back into this next time. Uh, down below in the comments, I need you guys to let me know who your favorite is so far or who you think you're going to like. No spoilers, please, because I don't need any spoilers of what's going to happen. Um, I'm going into this blind, so... I'm just really excited to see how everything progresses, but we're just gonna save it here. But yeah, let me know who you like in the comments down below and who you think our character is gonna get along with and not get along with, all of that. Please do not ruin anything for me. Don't tell me what I can do with certain items. Let me figure it out on my own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be posting another one in the upcoming week and we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, all right guys, thank you for being here and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I almost forgot my call to action. All right, bye guys.